Ballyclare District Historical Memorial Association. The Claudie Bombing. It was Monday the 31st of July 1972 when three stolen cars armed with timed explosives were driven in convoy to the village of Claudie. Two of the cars were parked on the main street, a Ford Cortina outside McElhenney's pub and shop and a mini traveller outside the post office. The third vehicle, a Morris minivan, was parked on Church Street. Within 15 minutes, all three no-warning car bombs had exploded, causing so much chaos, fear, death and devastation. A policeman had spotted the car bomb parked outside the post office and directed people away from that area. They headed to Church Street but devastatingly, the third bomb exploded outside the Beaufort Hotel, killing three people, two of them already injured from the first bomb on Main Street. Nine innocent civilians died that day, three of them only children, with a further 30 people seriously injured. The IRA, of course, were quick to deny these indefensible acts stating that after their own internal court of inquiry, they reported that their local unit did not carry out this attack. On the 30th anniversary of this atrocity, a review published in 2002 revealed that the IRA South Derry Brigade had been involved and that Catholic priest Father James Chesney had been the head of its operations on that day, a day also known as Bloody Monday. Father Chesney died in 1980 without ever being questioned by the RUC. Two members of the Catholic Church did question him on his activities and involvement with the IRA, but according to them, he denied anything to do with the terrorist group. It was decided to move him to a church in Donegal out of the way and where he could not be questioned by the RUC. There is so much controversy surrounding this priest and his involvement with the IRA. A man known only as Manny and a neighbour to Father Chesney was arrested shortly after the bombing and was given an alibi by the priest. He was then released. Man A had disappeared to America, but 40 years later he was found back in Ireland. A spotlight reporter managed to track him down and in an interview with Manny, he claimed that him and the priest had nothing to do with the Claudie bombing. It is said that Father Chesney confessed to another priest by the name of Father Liam in Malinhead. In 2002, this mystery letter was sent by Father Liam to several people in Northern Ireland with Chesney's confession and the names of the other IRA volunteers involved with this and other attacks. The letter calls the priest Father John Chesney, so it was seen as questionable and Father Liam has never been identified. Ex-IRA terrorists interviewed state that Father James Chesney absolutely was the director of operations of the South Derry Brigade and that the parochial home was used to make crude explosive devices, store guns and harbour wanted terrorists. There were also rumours that many of the social events he planned for the people of his parish were often robbed and it was with his help that the IRA carried out these robberies. Martin McGuinness claimed to never have met Father James Chesney and didn't know anything about the man or of any involvement with the Claudie bombing. Yet Father Chesney had sent for him when he was on his deathbed and McGuinness had to admit to that meeting, stating that the Claudie bomb was never even mentioned in the conversation. In 2010, after eight years of an investigation, it was reported that the RUC in the 70s believed Father James Chesney was the IRA's quartermaster and director of operations of the South Derry Brigade. It found that his involvement in IRA activities, including the Claudie bombing, was covered up by senior police officers, government officials and the Roman Catholic hierarchy. Almost 50 years later, 
and the families of the victims and the survivors of that day have still to receive the full truth as to why no one has ever been brought to justice for this senseless act. While illegal IRA memorials are erected and ignored by local councils, the people of Claudia are having to fight to have their legal memorial updated for the 50th Memorial Day anniversary of this tragedy, while again the local councils are dragging their feet. Let us remember the innocent civilians that so cruelly lost their lives by this mindless act of terrorism carried out by IRA's father James Chesney and the South Derry Brigade. Rose McLaughlin, aged 51. Patrick Connolly, aged 15. David Miller, aged 60. Catherine Eakin, aged 9. Joseph McCluskey, aged 39. Elizabeth McElhenney, aged 59. William Temple, aged 16. Arthur Hone, aged 38. James McClelland, aged 65.